Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Hector here, coming to you with part two of how to hear the voice of God. If you didn't hear the first part, go ahead and listen to it, because we're going to piggyback right off of it. So I want to get right into it. I want to talk about and continue to explore the different and various ways God speaks to us. Because you see, the whole point of this thing is relationship. It's not just to hear God's voice to hear it. It's to get to know Him. It's to know His ways. It's to know His heart. It's to know what it is and how it is we can communicate and we can get to know this infinite being that wants to know us, that wants to, that created us. You know, He created us to know us. And so um, I want to get right into it right now. We, we spoke about how God can speak to us through His Word. And even in that whole thing, I want to lay a, even a, a, another uh, truth and that is through all of this through hearing God's voice Holy Spirit is what we need Holy Spirit is what leads us into all truth John 16 13 says but when he the spirit of truth comes he will guide you into all truth he will not speak on his own he will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what is yet to come Holy Spirit is this amazing gift that Jesus gave every believer to lead us into all truth, to say, hey, this is God. Hey, you're going in the right direction. And so I want to just let you know from the very beginning, we have to trust, we have to rest in the fact that Holy Spirit is leading us, guiding us, empowering us, and opening up this channel for us to hear God. And it's fun. And so with that understood, I want to talk about another way that God speaks to us. Because you see, God is not linear. He is not limited uh, to just one way of speaking. If you look at who He is, He is the Creator. He is creative. Just look at every sunset. It's never the same. It's more spectacular than it was before. Look at the very cells in all of our bodies, how magnificent they're put together, how creative He made each and everything, an animal and creature, and I can go on forever. But you get the point. God is creative. So another way that He can speak to us is through our minds. Yep, that's right. Specifically our thoughts and our imaginations. But you may have uh, had some issues with your mind. Your mind may not always uh, play fair. Your mind may not always be on your side. But let me give you some of the word and let me just let you grab onto some faith because of it. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Hebrews 9.14 just think how much for the blood of Christ will purify our conscience from sinful deeds so that we can worship the living God. For by the power of the eternal spirit, Christ offered himself to God as a perfect sacrifice to our sins. So let me give you some good news. If you are a believer, your conscience has been redeemed. You have been reconciled to God. The scripture says we now have the mind of Christ. We are partakers of the divine nature. But the scripture also says that we must take every thought captive to Christ. So that lets us know right off the bat that not every thought that pops in our head is from God. We may now have his mind. We are now reconciled. But we are in this process of having our minds renewed from the old ways to the divine ways, to the mind of Christ. So we are still in this process of having our minds renewed. So that's why it's even more vital to engage with God in our thoughts, to engage with God in our imaginations. Because if we don't open ourselves up to hearing God through these ways, then we can never, you know, consistently have our thoughts renewed, have our minds renewed to the ways of reconciliation, to, to this reality that we are reconciled to God. So I want to encourage you and I want to even just share with you some examples uh, of how you can hear God through your thoughts and you maybe have been hearing God all along but just maybe have not realized it. So let's talk about the thoughts. Have you ever had somebody just pop in your head? 
somebody just continually pop in your head and then all of a sudden you see that person or that person you end up talking to and you're like, man, I was just thinking about you. That's crazy. Well, that was Holy Spirit talking to you through your mind. And so you maybe have been hearing God all along, but you just maybe weren't acknowledging it. And so that's just a, a simple way of hearing God's thoughts. So now that you, you can open yourselves up to, to trusting and believing that God can speak to you through your thoughts, let's explore some other ways. Because when you begin to expand your, your horizon and your abilities to hear from God, you have to, to be wise. You have to begin to engage with God on every thought that comes into your mind and you have to talk with Him. So when thoughts pop into your mind, you have to talk and say, hey God, is that thought from you? Or was that thought not from you? And so you see, this opens up dialogue between you and God so you can begin to fine tune and cultivate what is it that God is really saying to me and what does his voice really sound like? So you may begin by just paying attention to those thoughts that just drop into your mind but you can begin to go even farther. You can begin to have fun with God and, and be like, God, show me your thoughts about other people. You know, I love to do this when I go out and I'll be like, God, if there's something that you have for, for another person while I'm out, just give me a thought. Give me your thought for this person. And so a lot of times I'll be hanging out or I'll be, you know, at Walmart. Walmart's a good place to practice. Um, I'll be walking around and all of a sudden this thought comes into my head that somebody has a lower back issue. And so all of a sudden I, I ask God, hey, is that thought from you, God? And he'll tell me, yep, that's me. I say, well, who is this person? He'll begin to guide me and show me and take me to who this person is. And then all of a sudden I have the ability and the opportunity to minister to the, that person and see God perform a miraculous healing. But if I didn't open myself up to it, I would have never had that opportunity. And so now let's, let's explore the imagination a little bit. We use our imaginations all the time. If I was to ask you for directions, you'd use your imagination to pull up the street names, uh, how many blocks it is away from this street, or, or however you want to do it. But you're using your imagination. If I tell you to do a math problem, you go into your imagination, you start calculating what that's like. But we can now begin to engage God in our imaginations. Why? Because we've been reconciled. We've been redeemed. And so by faith, we engage our imaginations and we can begin to let God speak to us through our minds. So I want to share another example of how God can speak to you through your imagination. This one time I was hanging out with some friends and they were talking to, to this girl. And this girl just so happened she wasn't a Christian. She was, you know, just some, a friend of somebody uh, else that we knew. And so I just kind of came onto the group. They're, they're having a conversation. All of a sudden, I look at this girl and in my imagination, this scene pops in my head, which in, within like a fraction of a second, I see this young girl, she's in her room, she's drawing and she's crying sometimes. She's happy, but, but anytime she's having these extreme emotions, she's drawing. And so I go, whoa, that was kind of weird. And so I ask God, hey God, was that you? God tells me through the Holy Spirit, yes, that is. I said, well, what do you want me to do with this? And so he tells me, well, she doesn't believe in me, but I want her to know that I know who she is, that she has this really big issue with not feeling value in this world, not feeling like she has an identity. So. What did I do? I, I engaged conversation with this young lady and I said, hey, God showed me some things about you. And I began to share with her all the things that I saw in my imagination, all these things that the mind of Christ showed me. And all of a sudden this girl starts crying because she begins to feel the value from God that she's been looking for. She begins to see her worth in this world. And all of a sudden uh, this girl who didn't believe God exists, believes that God exists, not because I feared her into it, not because I was forcing her into it, not even because I, I Bible thumped her into it. It's because I share the mind of God with her, that she is valuable, that she is loved, that she does have a place in this world. And so those that's just a couple of examples, but I want you to explore what it's like. Because, you know, God may speak to me through my thoughts and my imaginations very different than what he does for you. 
But my whole point today is to let you expand your horizons and how you can hear from God. So enjoy your thought life, enjoy your mind being renewed, but most importantly, enjoy exploring your reconciliation to God and to Jesus through the Holy Spirit. So stay tuned for part three, and until next time, enjoy having another thought.